got to move some stuff out of the way here. I got to move my keyboard out of the way so that I can my put the closer to my face. Is ridiculous, dude. Look, there's a fucking McDonald's honey mustard just chilling on my desk. Why? Yeah, because you're know. because you're a garbage person. And a fucking packet of Earl Earl Grey green tea, and some it, Pokemon cards. It's it, just it's a shit show. It, it can't be Earl Grey and green tea at the same time. Earl Grey green tea, homie. Shut is it a blend? Home. Earl Grey green. Wow. Family tea blenders since 1945. The blend. Let's see here. That's that's disgusting. I'll test of this. Let's start this. Who oh, we, we've that? already started. I'm already no. Oh. We're, we, this is the intro. We're doing a soft intro. This is all okay. Hi. Hi guys. I'm Andrew. He sucks without water. Hi. Yeah, you gotta. <laughs> were you just eating the tea bags? Yeah, I tried to eat it. I just didn't know. I've never done tea before. Got a new shirt. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate Fuck it. Yeah, dude. Was it a dumb good shirt? Just came in the mail. Yep. They ran a. They hit 100k on. Didn't I send you guys? I think so, but I didn't on, check. Yeah, they hit 100k on Instagram or some shit. So they did like a. Literally a two hour sale where everything on the site was 50% off. What? So, oh, shit. You know, okay. Yeah, that's why I sent it to you guys. I got on there and filled the cart with like $240 worth of shit. 120 bucks. Well done. Yeah. I got an Xbox blanket that I didn't know if it was actually going to be an Xbox blanket because, like, in the picture, it was kind of like folded and shit. There's one picture of the blanket, and in the picture, it's like folded. Kind of looks like an Xbox logo. Can 100% be sure. Xbox isn't in the title. It's just like f gaming fleece or some shit like that. Not in the description anywhere. It's nothing is official. But when you get it, there's like the packaging is official, like Xbox. So uh, it was weird. But I was like, well, I'll see because it was like $12 or $8 or some shit. That's some percent off sale. That's some like fell off a truck shit that they're on. That's what I was. I, I think it's like, hey, let's. uh. Let's slash the prices on these and get them gone before we get a cease and desist letter. So, kind of the vibe I got. Uh, do you want to see all of the Game Boy games I have on my desk right now? I don't not want to see them. If that, I'll hold them up in profile just so you can get, out. so you can sort of get the gist to keep bumping my mic. Sorry. Thick. Speaking of blankets, are you wearing a blanket right now? Yeah, right now. That's cute. Oh, I like it. Oh my, those those OG carts. Hell yeah, baby. We got Star Wars. Call cards. We got Bugs Bunny and Crazy Castle One. We got Tiny Toons Adventures. Bad Babs is Big Break. Bibs Bibs Big Break. We got Daedalia and Opus. Ooh. What are you doing, camera? Don't no. You don't need to be out on there. <laughs> we got the Jungle Book. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Camera's being a real dick. <laughs> Solomon's Club. Montezuma's Return by Rockstar. <laughs> Dude, Looney just the Tunes. Cover arts on those are so fucking cool to see. Looney Tunes, the Game Boy game. True Lies, the Game Boy game. Fuck yeah. Iron Man, Iron Man, Exo Man of War in that, heavy metal. It's so bad, terrible. man. That's so bad. It's such a bad game. That shouldn't even be a game. As a kid, like I just remember seeing ads for it all the time in comic books and magazines when I was a kid. We got Rebel Star here and Golden Sun. I can't believe you picked Golden Sun up for like eight fucking dollars. That's I got really lucky. The uh, I went to a game store in Independence that was <laughs> legit. That place was awesome. It was exactly what you want. It was like this ramshackle mom and pop place run by some meth dealers or something. But, and I mean, dude, meth dealers have the best games. Well, the best they just prices. want Let's they just want your money, so they don't give a exactly. shit. The prices are the best. You know what? Seeing all those carts makes me think like that would be a really cool if you could just get like a little I don't know. They sell like those thin shelves, like real thin, low profile ones that you could just like set those on the wall and like have a bunch of them just stacked on top of each other. So you could just have like a grid of Game Boy games. I went to this bar in L.A. one time and it was they had like for the walls. It was all just VHS tapes. I think I probably told this story before, but it was so fucking cool. To just I have like have, yeah. the, all the entire wall was just VHS tapes, 
and like i just sat there forever you know kind of going over what all was there it was so much fun but if you could do something like that with like Game Boy cartridges, I think that'd be fucking that'd be a really cool way to. So I just got an idea. And forgetting about them. We make a frame, a big frame, and then we put all of these fucking Game Boy cartridges in there, and then we just uh, pour acrylic over them. Yes. And we seal them yeah. in forever, no, so I that way it ruins something a little, a little more. Fuck you, uh, Logan Paul, and your dumbass brother Jake. I hope both Dude, of you get cat no, aids. No, no. Here, here's the thing. I, first of all, I'm blocked on Twitter by Logan Paul, so I want to preface the story. Oh, you. what? I remember to talk some shit one day and he blocked me. Anyway, <laughs> but I think that that whole like resin Game Boy thing was so blown out of proportion. Frank, if you <sighs> actually care about that, shut the fuck up. It's not, like, there's so many like eight. There's so many fucking eight and nine year old kids out there with those exact same Game Boys that are just gonna fucking throw them at the wall because they're pissed and it doesn't have a touch screen and they're just going to get destroyed anyways. Like he made a piece of art and it actually looked fucking cool. And no, I, I guarantee you looked at that and you were like, that'd be pretty fucking sick in my living room. So I shut have, the fuck up. No, no, I have no love. First off. I have no love for the Paul family, but I'm actually with you on this. Yeah. It's like, that's who, yeah. I mean, probably you can, there's so many junk game boys in the world that you can do something like that with. You're such a bad person. <laughs> I know. And we're back. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, but I think like a, a little, just a little wall display. Because that's what I thought too. Like a picture frame would probably be perfect. You could probably just get like a thicker one that those would all go in and just stack on each other. But then like, obviously you want to have access to those games. Ideally. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> after you own one of these, like I have a, I don't know. I kind of feel like once you own a bunch of Game Boy games, you should probably just rom dump them and put them all on your computer, anyways, because carts are so unreliable. Yeah, like I'm gonna buy the hardware to fucking rom dump them, not boot up BitTorrent. How the fuck do you even rom dump? <laughs> uh, there's like a Game Boy consoleizer thing that they sell that's actually relatively inexpensive. But I mean, I think that the Pocket is gonna support rom dumping once it's like properly in its first like software update. That's what I wondered if there was something like uh, that, that would just allow you to do it. I started to try to play Small Soldiers, the fucking the Game Boy game. Mm -hmm. and I cannot, oh, I cannot figure out. You start, you, uh, well, I don't know. I'm on the first mission. I'm on, like the first like 15 seconds of this game that probably lasts like two hours to beat, and I don't know how to fucking shoot. I've pressed, I've done every button combination ever, and all you can do is walk around, jump, and duck. Like, you have a bow and arrow on your fucking back, but you cannot fucking use it. Well, maybe, it's like, maybe you just have a bow and no arrows. Or that, yeah. Let me tell you about the controls in our good buddy Iron Man Exo Man of War in Heavy Metal here. Everything's inverted. So, you know, it's a Game Boy. You have four a maximum of four buttons to work with. You got A, B, start, select. That's it. Uh, if you want to shoot a laser... You press B, pew pew. If you want to punch, do a close range attack, you press A and B at the same time. Sounds terrible. It is. Yeah. And if you want so to... you probably end up shooting a lot when you are trying to punch. Mm -hmm. And the punch, the punch is really, really, really slow. And it does, it does a lot more damage, but it's really slow, so... Sounds terrible. It's bad. It's a pretty bad game. That's the fun thing with Game Boy games is that you know that like 90% of what you pick up just on a whim because you're like, oh, that looks, I mean, I remember that movie or whatever. 90% chance it's just going to be total dog shit. That's like, that's what I thought would be true too when I started buying stuff. But like, so I bought this Catwoman game. Just because I thought the cover art was dope and it wasn't a movie tie-in. I was I didn't know that there was a Catwoman game on the Game Boy that was not the like Halle Berry one. And it's fun. It's good. It's not bad. Like it has cool little cutscenes with like comic art in them. The true lies the true the true lies Game Boy game, solid. It's not like amazing, but it looks really similar to the uh SNES game. These like, two little cutscenes where they just show a still image and then there's like some text explaining yeah. a moment from the movie. These two uh, Looney Tunes and Tiny Tunes, these games, 
are fantastic. Like really stunningly good. And you can like I was looking on eBay and you can find this guy for like 30 bucks complete in box. Damn. It's it's a strange world. It's a strange world of Game Boy game purchasing. Are those carts going to like those boards are eventually going to like deteriorate, right? But like well, how long does that take? I, I don't think I think those time. boards are they're going to be good for a really long time, I think, cuz they're just PCBs. I mean, they're nothing. Right. Nothing to the worst. They're like stored in low humidity. Yeah. And all that shit. The worst thing that happens typically is you just need to replace a battery in them. But like I, t I took a bunch of these apart myself and looked at them and cleaned them up and, you know, got all like the adhesive stickies off the outsides of them. That's one of those things that like size compared to dollar value, you know, 20, 30 years from now just seems like a really safe bet to pick up some of those like not only obscure, just there was already a low amount on the market or whatever, but like you're saying, where like those are actually really good games, you know, the gaming community is obviously going to catch on to that. And then there's only a finite amount of those cartridges even yes. in existence. And every day there's more breaking or being lost or added to a landfill. So yeah, the, the number only gets smaller. Yeah. It's so easy to just have like a fucking shoe box of like games that you could bet on and just like leave it in the fucking closet and there's yeah fund. i mean there's a few games right now already that are pretty expensive like that golden sun cart oh, yeah. should be should be about 50 bucks just loose i think um, the bombermans i had a bomberman i had the the new whatever that one is i can't remember the name of it i was playing it on my xbox or something and my son was like really interested and kept asking to play and i let him play and he was all about it so i was like well i'll get him some of the old bomberman games for his game boy you know and then i started looking them up and i was like fuck man First of all, yeah. there was a lot more Bomberman games than I expected. And so there are a lot. They were, they were pretty pricey. Super Bomberman R is the most recent one, I think. Um, yeah, that's it. It came out on Switch and Xbox. I think there's some GBA ones that aren't too bad, but yeah. Some and of the Game Boy basically the same. Some of the Game Boy ones, which I didn't realize this until recently, had Super Game Boy support. So when you would play them on your SNES, it actually had two players. Like you could play with two people on the SNES, hmm. even though you could never do that with one car on the Game Boy. That's actually one of the games that I vividly remember. Uh, I didn't play very many Game Boy games, but I, that Tetris and I guess it was just uh, um, Space Invaders. I would always play that on my SNES Super Game Boy on an old CRT in the living room. What was cool is some of those Game Boy games that had the Super NES support or the Super Game Boy support for the Super NES is they had like different backgrounds for the Super NES and stuff. Remember that? Like they were like mm -hmm. built into the yeah. cart and like some other. And you can change them. Donkey Kong on Game Boy had some stuff like that. Yeah, there's a bunch of different games that some of them even have like slightly ex expanded color palettes on the Super Game Boy. Uh, yeah, yeah. It's Wow. Did I uh, send you guys the picture of that game store I was at a few weeks ago? They had a a big box, like you know, remember the old PC big boxes? They had basically that. It was a a complete in box copy of the uh, Super Game Boy, and I was real close to buying it, but it was like two hundred, two hundred fifty dollars or something like that, which was yeah. like the same as what it would be on eBay. I I from looking into it, there's see, I actually like had him give it to me off the shelf and I kind of checked it out. It was like real thick cardboard, like a big sturdy, almost like a console box, you know, but it was just for the, uh, the super game boy. And from looking on eBay, there's actually two versions. There's like a more standard SNES size box that you could, that you could get a box copy of that. And then there was like the big fucking, almost like a display box or something. So I, I don't know why there's two different boxed versions of that, but it was really fucking cool. Just, I mean, anything big boxed Nintendo is just awesome to see. I don't know. I get there's a lot of fantasy. there's a lot of nostalgia uh, in there. Yeah, I, I found boxed copies of games <clears throat> of um, NES games one time. You know, I mean, you'll find some like Genesis stuff from time to time because that makes more sense. Like they're just gonna survive better. 
but the only box Nintendo games that I've ever found that like weren't astronomical, you know, that like people didn't know what they had, um, yeah, came up and they had like three, three uh, NES games just like in a box of DVDs, and they're just still in the box. It was like um, uh, Mike Tyson's Punch Out, but I think the cartridge in the box was a different game. Unfortunately, it was like golf or some shit. And then, but, but all the manuals and stuff were still there. So it was still a really good find. And I can't remember what the other two were. They weren't like anything, you know, it wasn't like super Mario three or some shit that would have been fucking amazing, but I still got them for like, you know, a dollar each or something like that. The excitement of finding something like that at a yard sale was fucking awesome. I mean, yeah, I'm, I don't want to go too ham. Like I'm not, I don't really want to try to get too much Game Boy stuff. Most of the stuff I just bought because it was cheap. And I was like, I recognize that property. We'll see how bad the adaptation is. Um, but there's a handful of games that I'm still trying to track down that I would really like to get. I, I ordered a copy of Metroid Fusion. It's coming. I'm very excited to play that. Um, the other, there's three more. There's Zero Mission. I would like to get a copy of Metroid Zero Mission. Yeah. That shit's also very expensive. It's more expensive than Fusion. Um, Metal Gear Solid for the Game Boy. And number three is Resident Evil. Resident Evil Gaiden for the Game Boy. I don't know anything about the game, other like how it plays or anything, but I, I just really want to check it out. <laughs> I just Are really want to play it. Those, like, super expensive, I'm guessing? So for Resident Evil, for Metal Gear Solid, you're, gonna look, you're looking at about $100 for a cart. And I think Resident Evil's more than that. Damn. Uh, Zero Mission's still a little less. It's like typically like seventy. It's still expensive, but you know, is it's it like under hundred dollars. Scarcity thing or just demand? Because everybody knows that they're actually good games. I think I think that for Metal Gear Solid and for Resident Evil, those are scarcity things. I don't think that there's a ton of those copies. And the Metal um, Gear Solid game is. Is kind of it's good, but it's like really shitty though, because I actually have played it. It's like it's in the style of the old MSX, NES Metal Gears, yeah. But I like I played I played through the first one of those, and that was actually not bad. It was pretty fun, so I'd check it out. You guys, you guys sleepy? Now? Uh. I no, yeah, of course. I'm always playing new stuff. You know this. You know this about me. Yeah, true. Uh, I did start playing Chorus last night, which I've been I rented from the library, and it's just been sitting on my desk for like a week. And for free though. Yeah, for free. It's from the no, library. It's not Blockbuster. Uh, and it's pretty good so far i haven't played it like a space exploration fly around in a spaceship shoot stuff game in a really long time and it's so far so good it's got a bunch of side quests so you know i'm stuck doing those of course yeah i started uh i started mafia and i'm still very very early into it but i'm, I'm enjoying it so far it looks, I think, it looks a lot better than i expected but it's the remaster too so i don't know what the original looked like you know are you, are you playing it on xbox Series okay. X. Then I you're stuck at the trilogy, the whole the whole shebang. But that's it's locked at 30 frames per second, right? I don't know. It maybe I don't. It doesn't. I feel like I would have noticed if it was 30 frames. Oh, okay. It, maybe it, it not. Didn't, it didn't feel bad. I don't know. I've been like on this weird kick lately, as I've been playing through GTA 3 again, and I'm. Still playing around with the idea of 100%ing that, which I know it'll take quite a while, but I also reinstalled and booted back up Red Dead 2 uh, because I never made it all the way through that story, mm. and I really I really want to. But then I quickly remembered, like, going from GTA, even, even GTA 3, going from GTA 3 to Red Dead 2, like, one mission is like, I gotta go all the way across the map on a fucking horse. Like, I don't know, it just... Everything takes so long, obviously, that it, it, it does kind of start to take me out of it. Even though, like, it's it's good. It is really good, but I don't know. I just, hey, I don't know if I have that much patience anymore. I played through the first Red Dead, and I was just, like, all for it. 
You can take a st- stagecoach, can't you? Like the where it just basically teleports you? Yeah. I mean, you can, but I don't even know if I know where all those are. It was also like kind of intimidating getting back into just the map and like knowing what the key, you know, I don't know. Just the whole the it, way it all plays is a little different. Yeah. Anytime you come to back to a game like that is yeah. disorienting. Yeah, I remember that about Red Dead 2, though. It was just kind of one of those games where you had to kind of let it dictate the pace. You couldn't be like, okay, I'm going to sit down, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do this, and I'm going to do this, and then I'm going to shut it off. You kind of had to let the game tell you what you were going to do that day. And right. <laughs> yeah, I remember somewhere in my first playthrough of it getting like super distracted by the fact that I could finally fish, but also like... I think it was whenever you first unlock the big city. I forget the name of it now. San Denis. Um, once you get that unlocked, there's like a lake, like swampish area right next to it where you couldn't really get to before, if I'm remembering correctly. Anyways, I remember there was like a bait shop, I think. I got like access to more different baits and lures and stuff like that and, and realized that there was different fish in different regions and shit. And like once I figured that out, I was I was balls deep in that for quite a few hours and like totally lost track of what I was doing in the, in the story. But, and the same with the hunting, like I realized there was the like legendary hunts scattered throughout the map. Yeah. Pretty fun shit. There's a lot going on in that game. A a lot. It's a fun game to just lose an afternoon and, you know, go fish and find some of the like weird environmental events that just crop up every now and then. That, that, they're really good at making that super immersive, just like the Far Cry games are in Just Cause. Like you, like people really don't think that like all the Far Cry and Just Cause games have like just like dog shit stories because they do. But like you can just there's just so much immersive shit to do inside all of those games, like there is in Red Dead. I've been That's... getting more into. I think with Infinite, I've been getting more into like story single player games and, and trying to get out of my um fixation with shooters on rails yeah shooters and 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 specifically multiplayer shooters especially like with my internet issues lately and everything so i've been tr- trying to branch out and get into more stuff like that so but just cause and far cry are something i'd like to get into more i i dabbled with the um uh i don't remember which one it was auto erotic uh, was the one asphyxiation. where there was like a, a there was like a cult of uh, religious people. I think it was in the U.S. It, yeah. Far Cry 4, Far the Cry one that's based in Missouri. Not 4. Five. 5, yeah. 5 sounds right. Yeah, the um, all the hillbillies and shit. That was kind of fun. Because you could like fish and shit in that game too. Oh yeah, my dad. So whenever I first played that game, this is where my mom and dad had to live with me for my mom's cancer treatments for like half a year. And... <clears throat> Dad would just sit there and watch me like fishing and hunting in Far Cry Five while I was drinking, because there was <laughs> nothing else to do. <laughs> no TV, just to watch watch you play games. Yeah, that's kind of what Katie does. Like a lot of times, instead of like if we'll we'll get kind of burnt out on like binging Netflix shows or movies or whatever, and she'll be like, "You should play," and you know, just insert title here, and I'll just sit there and play a game for like three or four hours, and she just watches. But it's fun. I mean, yeah, if, if you can enjoy it vicariously like that, then that's awesome. Right. But it's also like I, I make a point to, you know, if she's like, oh, go do go do this or that. You know, I'll, it's like it's it's bad enough that they're have they like they don't get to play. So like if they're going to make yeah. a suggestion, I'm going to go do it. You know? Yeah. 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 Did anybody watch anything last You're Wednesday? Person, Frank. Did anybody watch anything last Wednesday? What was last Wednesday? Oh, the direct. The Nintendo Direct, and then the news about this. That is now. Yesterday. So by the time we talk about this direct, that news is going to be a week and a half old. Yep. Yeah. That's yeah. the flaw with our podcast system. Yeah. Hey, we can, we can watch Andrew twice. Look at that reflection. It's me. It that's me. Him. It's that's so shiny. Him. That's his face. Yeah, rip, rip in peace. The Wii U and the 3DS virtual consoles, eShops, whatever you want to call them. 
March 2023, no more purchases. You will be able to re-download content that you have purchased that you have digital license for. Blah, 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 blah. Soft mod those bitches, motherfucker. Play PlayStation games on them. Fuck Nintendo. So... Right. <coughs> Here he goes. Let, let, let me get my issue with this out of the way. Like, I understand that you can't keep the services going in perpetuity. It's expensive, and at one point it just doesn't make sense anymore. Right. You know, and it's just going to get more expensive over time to keep antiquated systems, yada, yada. I understand all that stuff. I know it's got to be, it's got to go at some point. But Nintendo has said that they have no plans to make virtual console content available in other ways. So, like, the Wii U's the last way you can buy digital Game Boy Advance games. That's one of the only ways you can play Game Boy Advance games anymore. Because they're not on the 3DS. And that's just, like, a bummer. Like, they've... I don't know... I still don't know why they haven't leveraged their their huge library for the Switch. You don't think that that's, like, coming soon? Where they add that, you know, they add the Game Boy library and then tack that into the whole premium whatever the fuck is even I don't even know what that is now. I've I've been thinking that that was coming soon for the last 5 years. So at this that, point I have no idea. with anything, right? Like anything you you know, a new Mario Kart. I'm like, well fuck, I thought we would have gotten one 5 fucking years ago, but here we are and now we get 32 new maps for $25. Or two. Are they even are they even what? new maps, new maps. Are they fucking new released, re-released? Yeah. And I'm sure, yeah. they're, I'm sure they're remastered because some of them are from like the original Mario Kart, so they're like revamped, redesigned. Yeah, I do hate the the trope of like, well, all they did was copy paste that shit. Yeah, because it's that fucking easy. Yeah, <laughs> you know. But I also get it. Um, but then again, I'm always on the side of like with Halo and Gears and all that, and Call of Duty. That discussion always comes up. I l- I'm personally all for the re-release maps. Black Ops 4 was fun as shit because you could load up on slums and firing range and all those fantastic maps that were from Black Ops 2, and I'm all for that shit. I get whenever it starts being like, you look at all the maps that ca- that came out over the lifespan of the game, it's like, fucking 70% of these were old maps that just got re-released. You know, if we're discussing that, then sure, I get it. But me personally, I, I like, you know, when the old classics come back. That's... Yeah. Something that I actually thought about the other day with Halo Infinite. I know that there's been like Forge leaks and shit, but like I would like to get down on like some fucking Zanzibar action. Don't worry, it'll be here as soon as Forge hits. Yeah, but, somebody will faithfully recreate these be, things. But and I'm hoping they're smart with it and they'll have like community based playlists potentially. You know, like imagine if it was just like a rotation of the top five voted maps on the servers or some shit like that. Like uh, assuming that their game, that their file share system is going to be good and functional. Uh (laughs) Oh, well, yeah, I mean, fair enough. (laughs) And we can sit here and say until we're blue in the face that, you know, like, well, with master chief collection, they eventually got it right. And they did, but, fuck man like we're really yeah. getting out there at this point like what are we what are we waiting on i i don't i everything is just really getting hard to uh stay focused on halo but it just <laughs> it's it's a fucking pitiful whenever they have goddamn fucking the halo championship series or all the fucking bullshit online stuff is and it's on a LAN, on a hardwired LAN, it constantly fucking disconnects. And the the casters that they're paying to, you know, make their game look fun and exciting to all these viewers and everything, and they, like, the caster sees one of the p- fucking pro players competing for all this money shoot a rocket launcher at another player. Yeah. And, and like, the player doesn't <clears throat> it, and the caster's literally, like, I don't even I don't even have words for that. I don't know like they're they're in this spot of like, well, they're fucking signing my checks and I know if I'm like, this game's fucking trash, that rocket won't even kill anybody, you know, they're gonna get fired. They're not gonna get hired back, you know. Did you see the one just, Are you talking about the so whenever he shot That's his teammate? He, are you talking about the one where he shot his teammate? 
Or no. no he shot he shot There's another one. Okay. The rocket launcher. The, the you got to do CS tournament and it didn't You got to do what wrestling announcers do when there's a egregious botch. You just say, "Oh, he didn't get all of it." He didn't get all of that rocket on him. He didn't get all of them with that elbow that he missed three feet to the right with. Well, and the timing is also really bad because they just... Finally, they were like, you know, it's... Basically, they tried to explain that they favored the player. So, like, if I'm playing and I see myself shoot somebody with the battle, ri battle rifle and they're not around the corner yet, regardless of if that player is already around the corner on their screen, they're favoring the person dealing the damage. Right. So that was their answer to that. Uh, but when that's happening on land, that doesn't really, I mean, we're talking less than one millisecond. That doesn't make sense. That, that, that doesn't, that, that reasoning goes out the fucking window for the most there's, part. I mean, I understand there'd be a little bit, but. There's some suspect access, uh, aspects of that multiplayer coding altogether. Yeah, very much so. So I don't know, like. Yeah, maybe they'll fix it. I don't know. But they need to do something. I, at this point, I think I would be more concerned about them not doing very much to sort of keep up with the way content releases in a game like this now. Well, that's the thing, because the majority of players are already like, yeah, we know that like there's going to be a lot of moments where you melee and it doesn't register. Or you shoot a rocket and they don't die. Mm -hmm. And you get shot around a corner and everything everything but we still like playing the game we're going to keep playing it understanding that that shit's just going to happen like i saw a lot of people giving that opinion and that's my opinion too like i still enjoy the game it's just like it sucks that that shit's there but it is but yeah i agree i think the bigger problem is like you, you released a live service game you have to have like a fortnight amount of fucking content coming out you have to be just constantly releasing a map i mean it's a little different when it's not a battle royale obviously but you got to yeah. be constantly re-releasing maps and and special content and new playlists and even when that shit's dropping already be talking about the next thing like we've got to know what's going on behind the scenes yeah. we've got to have things to look forward to we've got to have customization options whenever we're buying shit out of your fucking shop and unlocking stuff through gameplay that we can actually put like a fucking set of bullhorns and a bumper on our warthog at the same time instead of just cut his, one of those fucking cut his things. mic cut his mic God damn um, it, what i do <laughs> nothing but yeah um yeah it just seems like i wasn't it in like the second week after the game came out that they were already repeating shop stuff yeah yeah yeah, yeah. the emblem like Oh, I mean, yeah, there was the weekly emblem that came up four times because oh, of how stupid that whole system shop. is. I'm talking about actually in the shop. My cat's standing on my headphones cords. No, I yeah. saw stuff on there multiple times. I saw stuff on there multiple times. Except yeah. for uh, the pineapples. The pineapple grenades have never been brought back. And it's just really, like, it's just stuff that someone, like, like as a project lead or something, should have overlooked and been like, oh, no, 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 maybe we should, like, change this a little. Like, I don't know if you guys saw that one. There's, like, a... I guess there's a skin in the game for being the top rank in, in Halo, Halo 5. 5 based on like gameplay. It's like 5,000 hours of gameplay or something ridiculous. What? And so the people that have that got this like special armor or uh, skin coatings for their weapons. And then they basically released, uh, oh, was it the HCS rewards? Yeah, yeah the it was HCS rewards for the were, like, most recent batch of HCS super similar like they were shades different they they weren't the same but at first glance like if you see somebody like well, let's come down to like the brass tacks of it if you see somebody in game with that weapon skin you know your first thought it is well that's either that like elite coding or it's the one that they got for watching hcs like you're, you don't know the difference in game and that's a, like a huge slap to the face to the elitist of the elite halo players like yeah, I don't know. that's the the thing is like decisions. that's the thing is like that decision to release that skin. It's a cool looking skin. It makes your guns like silver and red and black and stuff. You know, looks neat. And that does benefit like the players who are coming into the game for the first time because they're like, hey, cool, I can get this cool thing. But yeah, you're hurting the people who are like 
making the most content out of your game. The people who have like taken it kind of on themselves to be your games like avatars, your their advocates, right. you know. The people who love it, the people who play it all the time, who are doing Twitch streams, who are going to tournaments, who are doing all this stuff. Who are recommending and to their friends and exactly. to play the game. But and not only that, but the people that are probably spending the most per you know, like when they look at that average, like, okay, every player we sign, you know, we get to boot the game up. We're going to earn this amount. Those people are way the fuck up here. And they're mm -hmm. just like literally just backhanding them in the fucking cock. That's like, yeah, I mean, it's hard. I feel like that's what behavior does too with Dead by Daylight. Like it's the similar kind of thing of just like not paying attention to what the people who play the game the most are thinking about it things that should be changed, things that should be fixed. Um, but I mean, that's more of a balanced thing as opposed to like rewards. Yeah. And to be fair with 343, a lot of the feedback that's come back, they have been really good about implementing that feedback. But it, but it, but then like their very next move, it's like as soon as they find out like, oh, so we weren't on like the pulse on that. So, okay, we're going to make these changes. But then, like, their very next move is just some other completely fucking, like, what What do you, <laughs> like, anybody can look at that and be like, that's a dumb fucking idea. And then they're like, oh, wait, what? Really? No one likes that? Okay, we'll change it. Our bad. You know, it's like, what the fuck are you, who's making Like, who's, decisions? yeah. There's, like, like well, I don't understand the oversight. They don't, nobody, all, nobody that works there has a fucking social media account. Or the people that are in that position, because, like, the community manager follows me on Twitter, and we've talked before, and he seems like a dude that would understand, like, I mean, he's he's not, like, a 70-year-old out-of-touch, you know, suit or something, is what I'm saying. Like, I I'm wondering if it's more like those people know, and they get it, but then when they're like, hey, we need to do this instead of that, maybe the suits are being, you know, they're giving some pushback or you know, just not letting them make those changes. Yeah. And know. I'm sure it's difficult to have a conversation in that scenario where you're like, this might actually result in us making a little bit less money off of something, you know, yeah. like when they had to change the shop, that took a little while, but they did finally bring the prices down to something that makes sense. It's like, it's still not perfect, but it's a way, way better. Oh, I just bought skins yesterday. Those ones that you guys shared. Oh, you got those? I didn't buy those. I'm probably oh, I'm probably gonna grab one or two of those too when we boot it up today too. I mean, yeah, because yeah, I didn't have a I didn't have a skin for the old the old uh, the old the old pew pew automatic pistol. Fuck, what's that thing called? Sidewinder. No. Side job. The, thing that... the commando. Playing Game Boy and pay attention for two seconds, and you might be able to fucking participate in the goddamn conversation. I don't know how we've been doing this podcast for so long, and he still hasn't even figured out how to frame his fucking face properly. Are you talking about for the pistol, the Sidewinder? No, the commando. Andrew just said it, and I agreed, but you're two balls deep playing fucking Kung Pao Chicken fucking Kirby or whatever the shit you're doing. I'm trying to find out what Super Nintendo games they added because we were talking Who about... cares? Well, we were talking He's about... He's playing Kung Fu Panda. Which... Great game, if I'm being honest. I fucking hate you. You play stupid shitty games like that just for the achievements and your gamer score and that's why you're a bad person. That's why I'm a great person. No. no I there's both. presented two games last night. <laughs> So what games? Get at me. Um, let me look. <clears throat> Not a good sign. Let me go to uh, starting strong. A, one was called Hell Jumper. Achievementwhore.com and see what games you can beat in five That's minutes to get a thousand gamers. Bullshit, is it? It fucking should be. It should be. We should buy that. I'm gonna go to GoDad Froze. We froze everything. Um, froze. <laughs> you motherfucker! You can hear me. Frank's frozen for me. Frank's dead. He's, he frozen. He's God. coming back. Damn it, Joe Biden. Why? Frank, you're good. I can hear you. I can't you're see back. you. You're froze. You've got a cute little face. Stop the steal. You know, Every time I say it, they fucking the FBI week, tries to silence gonna, me. This is becoming such an issue with us. Well, I, um, the games that I 100%ed last night are Hell Breachers. And Nina and Michi. And he's gone. And he's back. 
There he is. So I bought a. Hello, it's him. Dude. You got to talk to your ISP, man. This is getting out of hand. Uh, in in re response to last week's uh, cluster fuckery, I did have somebody come out and they replaced my modem, and now it seems like things are going okay. Knock on wood. Knock on that wood. So. So yeah. Hell yeah, dude. There was just like some pubic hair or some shit inside your mo modem and that, you know, that'll happen. Yeah, modem was borked. I found out that there was stuff inside my keyboard and I was getting a bunch of phantom presses. So I took that apart, cleaned that. I'm a whole new man with the same old bullshit. So my gamer score for the month is 7,630. And I'm just here to talk to you guys about why you are such little bitches. <laughs> Frank is at 895. I'm beating Andrew though this month. Yeah, you are boy, a lot. suck a dick. Andrew's only at 274, number nine on. <coughs> it's because game is because playing game <coughs> games doesn't oh, give you fucking Steam, uh, Xbox achievements. Yeah. Nope. Listen, Linda, I, I'm a, I'm a, I gotta hit that 100k. Straight. I gotta hit that 100k before 2023. It's just, I, who do you have to beat? This, you have to beat your fucking your your in law or some bullshit. No, Biden's sending out uh, a 14th stimulus package if you can get 100K Shut before 2023. <laughs> it's true. It's true. It's not true. Nothing's true. I got true. two kids, bro. And if you get 100,000 gamer score before 2023, you get $2,000 per kid. And I'm fucking going to cash in on that shit, bro. <laughs> Where did you see that? What, what, where's your news source for that? Did you get that off of uh, IGN? Did you read that in an EGM issue? Fucking Kotaku, bro. I. <laughs> I did just finish, uh, <coughs> well, finish to the extent that you can finish a roguelike. I basically finished Crypt of the Necro Dancer on the Switch. What? That game's hard as fuck. Yeah, I can't get past, like, the third level. It's quite difficult, but, uh, yeah. I, I, like, there's... I'm using the the way to determine if I've beaten it or not by having all the characters unlocked. Yeah. I have all the items unlocked, but I'm missing, I think two characters one of them is probably i just can't get because you have to beat the game consecutively with every character in the game without dying at all and that's like i don't that's nine playthroughs and like i can't yeah some of those things are just like not, i can't do that not, not worth but i'm close pretty close what's really sad is the last two games that i've beat are both square enix games and they're both basically the same game but not Final Fantasy X and Final Fantasy X 2. Final Fantasy 15 and Guardians of the Galaxy. <laughs> you gotta find some new some new swag. Now that you've played through Guardians of the Galaxies, you gotta hop in on the Avengers, baby. No, I refuse to play that. It's fucking dog shit. I can't get through the first part whenever you're like walking through the parade. Like I'm donezo. No. <laughs> you can't you can't get to the part where the game starts? <laughs> It just it just looks bad. It looks horrible on the PS5 and on the Xbox and on the PC. I, I've heard bad. that the I've heard that the 13 remaster is pretty pretty solid. No, no it's, it's not. not. No, it's not. Oh, oh. you're just lying to, to get traffic to watch your your playthrough. <laughs> oh Xbox yeah, uh, I've heard that the Ninja fun, the thing. Ninja Turtles games on the original Game Boy are also really good. So come there to our channel and watch go. those if you. <laughs> if you guys aren't watching our Let's Plays, you should be. Yeah, come watch our Let's Plays. We're trying to make a goddamn career out of this. Goddamn empire, dude. I'm trying to buy a fucking boat, son. I have so many Game Boy games now that I need to play for that. So, like, if more people watch, then I will make more. And then there will be more than one a week. Which I would actually like to do. Hell yeah. Um... Plus, you guys are helping us get that monetization so we can make $3 a month, son. That's right, baby. Shit goes a long way. We're going to put it right into fucking Dogecoin. So it's all going to no, work out. Crypto's a hoax. Didn't she watch the documentary? So is Santa Claus. And you still buy gifts for your child every year. So fuck you. <laughs> that logic adds up somewhere. I'm no? no? I'm going to end up uh, probably buying another copy of Cyberpunk for some reason. 
to play on one of your next gen consoles? Well, so they should be coming out at some point in the next five years. The next gen console upgrade, but they did but it'll, no, they it'll just it'll just update like existing copies or how does that work? I, I yes. saw that news. I didn't really read into it. Okay, because I bought a copy uh, a while back on eBay or some shit for like fucking seventeen dollars, like new for Xbox One. And I was like, okay. well, I'll just get it now, and then eventually when I have time to play. It's like my Steam library, but just yeah. uh, IRL. It'll just yeah. go in the top of the closet for six years or something. Uh... My understanding is that they released this patch, which is the Series X and PS5 optimized versions of the game. It's already out. So, okay. yeah. And I've seen... What, Frank? You're making faces. What? Am I wrong? I mean, yes, but it's like not optimized. <laughs> I mean, they say it is, but it's not. I mean, they're getting better, but I think that eventually they're going to get like a fully solid, stable build. You know, oh. they're just going to. I keep saw trying. somebody. I saw somebody shoot the water with a machine gun, and the bullets, the, you know, the water pip like exploded up correctly. So, I mean, as there far as go. I'm concerned, the game works now. Yeah, that, that's it. So, but I want to get it on PC because you could like I don't know I want to fuck Keanu Reeves. Gotta get those achievies, son. Apparently they like redid the skill trees. They changed the UI. Apparently, like it's a pretty big overhaul what they actually did to the game. So that's I'm I'm probably gonna reinstall it. Check it out again. I have this rash on the back of both of my hands, and I don't know what it's from. I have it nowhere else. It's from yeah. Cyberpunk. It's part of their viral Safari marketing again. is literal viruses. I think the achievement horror in me will make me boot up Cyberpunk again. Because I, I played through it on PC the first, and I had fun from what I played, but I just knew that everybody was saying that the console version was basically completely broken at the time. But now that I can like boot it up and just kind of chill on the couch and play through some missions and shit. What are all the achievements? There's so many secret achievements. Why? Uh, story spoilies. Hey, the domain achievementwhor.com is not taken. Should I buy it right now? Right now. How much is they it? Probably, probably want like 1500 or some shit. Squarespace. Here's what we do. How is that not sold by now? That's baffling. Achievementwhore.com. You come in, you log in. We'll, we'll integrate the Xbox API. You log in with your gamer tag. As you unlock achievements, you get like titty picks, you know, it's yeah, like one of those puzzle games where you get like a square. Literally no. You get an achievement. no. Yeah. Uh, they remove an article of clothing. Yeah. Men and women. That's right. You see some dongs for getting some achievements. Bro. Well, depending on which game it is, it's actually the main character of whatever game you're playing. Mm, so if you want to play like oh, battle toads or something, it gets real hot, real fast. There we go. I we hired an artist over to over just here. make like anime versions of like Keanu Reeves. And then, like, as you get cyberpunk achievements, you can hey, see his cock and balls. Did you guys <laughs> know how to do the IQ test for your cats? You take your cats, and then you put them up to the wall, and you see how many of their legs they stick onto the wall. She is making the funniest noises as you do that. Well, so the girl, she has four IQ points, and he has zero IQ points. You just stick them up to the wall, and he just doesn't, he doesn't try to, like... He's just short circuits. Drama. He's fucking stupid as shit, man. But I love you until I drown you. <laughs> and we're back. <laughs> we're back. I had some animals show up that uh, Two years now. I wasn't expecting yesterday. I had some fucking hound, some coon How'd they hounds taste? show up. Fantastic. Dude, I would have eaten for two months off the, off the mail that showed up. The Ch male little, left. Little chungus? The, yeah. The female, uh, the pup, she was like, nah, she stayed. And then she would just follow me all around. And I looked out at like 7 o'clock at night. She was just curled up in a ball next to my truck in the front yard. And it's like windy as shit. And we've got a fucking blizzard coming in. So I'm like, damn it. So I threw her in my truck and drove down where I thought she was probably from. But I hate going to anybody's house out here in the country like you roll up to the wrong place you never know i mean it's just like if somebody's coming down my driveway i'm like who the fuck is this i don't know i don't like it i understand why other people don't like it 
But I drove up, and sure enough, she was like, oh my god, her mom is the state champion, fucking blah, 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 thank you so much. And I was like, where's my cash reward? And then she didn't give me no cash. Oh, hey, so. was was they, uh, was I right? And what type, what type of breed of dog were they? Was I close? Ow! I mean, I Ow! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I, uh, I didn't ask her, but, I mean, yeah, from what I looked at, that's, they were the black and tan... Uh, coon hounds. What you got there, Andrew? Some cards? Uh, This is a star pack of Yu-Gi-Oh cards. You already opened those, didn't you? Yeah, I did. You just shove them back in the package. Basically. Didn't you get, did you look up that one? Didn't you get a hit? I, uh, no. I got a Starfoil card, but it's like, it's not worth anything. Rhinoceros... Leopardin or whatever the fuck it's called. That's so Jesus hot. Christ, I the Forma Pal Thunder swore, Rhino. I could have swore one of you guys got like a foil that looked like it might have been worth something. I haven't opened mine yet. Open it now. For the pod. Do it for the content. Here, I'll open them. They're pod. downstairs on my fucking spinet. I'm not walking downstairs to pick them up. Yeah, but those aren't Yu-Gi-Oh, so those don't count. Base, Sun and Moon, uh, mini pack. Three card pack here. <sighs> What are where do those packs come from? Those tiny, shitty ones. Uh, dollar, Dollar Tree, and Family Dollar. Really? And Dollar General. If you but so back in the day, like a year ago, I would go to Dollar General and they've got these tins like you see at Walmart for the Pokemon cards. But yeah. inside there would only be uh, these mini packs of the three card packs, but there'd be ten of them. So it was a pretty good deal. Um, but, and everybody else was like, dude, they have like regular 10 card packs in them, whatever I buy them at my dollar general. And then, uh, I bought out like everything around me basically. And then they weren't in store for a long time. And now if I go, they have the tens and they just have like three normal 10, 10 card packs. Mm. But yeah, we got oh, a Skiddo. Psyduck. Hey. Psyduck, that's a cute Psyduck in the pond. Like him. And a water energy. That's the worst thing ever when you get a three card pack and one of them is an energy. Yeah, but is it a foil energy? Do they make those? Yes. They do make foil energies, but this is not. Well, I got a Psyduck on a cute little island with flowers. So I want to know, when did the fucking card companies start doing this bullshit where they only give you three fucking cards per pack? They're dollar store packs. But that's still fucking stupid. If you have to shop at the dollar store, maybe you should have hobbies where you throw money down the drain right. getting collected. Well, no. It's even more of a waste of money, though. Okay, Frank, they also have fucking stakes. So, which one are we more of? You take the good fucking name. You not be smart steakums, motherfucker. No, not steakums. I'll eat steakums from anywhere. I'll buy that shit from, like, a, a dumpster fire. It doesn't matter. But the people that buy like actual packaged steaks at the dollar store, like there's a problem there. We got so uh, a jacking when you buy something Wyvern. Jacking Wyvern. The Wyvern is jacking. Jack? What's it? Wyvern. It's Jack foil? Wyvern. It's foil. Yeah, that's what star foil looks like. Jack Wyvern. What is it? Jack Wyvern? We got a How do yeah, I spell it? let's look it up. Oh I, my keyboard's out of the way I can't look Jack it. Jack yeah. Wyvern. It's it's like a dragon, you fucking nerd. We got a Goku remastered. Goku Remastered. Goku Rematch. Goku Remastered. We got a fuck clown. Fuck clown. We got a fuck clown. Look at that. Wow, that really does look like it says fuck. That's a fuck clown. Yeah, with the blurry camera especially. <laughs> Your camera's blurry, bitch. I would, love to, I I would love to see that episode of Yu-Gi-Oh! where <laughs> one of them is like, you've activated my fuck clown. <laughs> and, and fuck clown comes out and his voice is... Uh, Never mind. You Pat gotta, Oswalt. You gotta stop. Bro. I was gonna say Hunter of laughs. Pat Oswalt. Like that's a whole. He just snipes. He's peeping through glass, looking, finding all those laughs, and just. Frank, you them. need to you need to top load that immediately. That is a two dollar card, my dude. Oh, this one. This this card right here is two dollars. No. <laughs> With the little green hollow stars on it. That's so sad. 
I didn't expect that, but I'm. You gotta I'm, swallow I it. Like it. Don't be a bitch. No, don't swallow it. You'll, you're gonna get hurt. No, <laughs> not if you choose it well. You have to chew that so many times. It's not designed for this. Yu Gi Oh cards are one of the lowest rated cards in terms of edibility. Pretty sure it's they're, not even printed on paper. They're basically <laughs> just made out of like those ceiling tiles you see in offices. Yeah, with the asbestos. Yeah, they like squish, real flap. Wow. Are you gonna buy? I can't find any sold listings. That's making my uh, Starbucks taste better. <laughs> Did you? Are you gonna buy that uh, sheet oh, yeah. sheet of uncut base set Pokemon cards that they found? I think we're gonna <sighs> bid on those together, right? I had people sharing oh it in my uh, my Discord server that's about Pokemon, and they're like, they're "Like it's only thirty three k. We can all pitch in." I'm like, "Bro, that shit's gonna go way over way, thirty grand." Way more than that. Uh, I, I'm excited to see what that's gonna finish for. Is it just? It's just a blank sheet. It's just just a sheet. It's like uh, uncut. They, is it uncut sheet or what is it? Uncut yeah. sheet. Yeah. So, but it's all, all the hollow foils, base set, shadowless. Oh. First edition. Oh, that's way more than thirty three thousand that. dollars. That's fucking no. From what I saw, I'm pretty sure there's a there's a shadowless first edition Charizard on that sheet. So it's gonna go for hella. Jesus. I hope I'm betting God. seven figures. Honestly, I don't know. I could be wrong. Please, I want someone to buy this and then to eat it. Burn. Do make like a cutout from it. Like, don't respect where the borders of the cards are. <laughs> just like you know, like the Mario Party jackhammer game, where you just sort of go around. They'd have to like that. spend more money on security after doing that than they did on winning the auction. <laughs> the Pokemon community would just be beyond out. Oh yeah, I'm sure a bunch of fucking nerds. You're going to need to hire a bunch of security from a bunch of nerds. Yeah, they're going to come squat on the lawn and fucking hold hands and chant. You know who the worst fan base is, though? It's not Pokemon fans. It's not Yu-Gi-Oh fans. It's Magic fans. Oh my god. Are they the smelliest people you've ever met in your life? <laughs> like, all our hey, friends are on. Magic fans. <laughs> magic, flan magic fans are like... Motherfuckers hungry. Magic right? flans are delicious. <laughs> Magic fans are like Dota players. And they're just the worst. Let's, how many fan bases can we just piss off for no reason? Yeah, like how many viewers are you trying to... I'm just saying... Let's right see. Uh, Dota players are virgins. League of Legends people are... I don't know. If you play Rocket they, League... They have too many loans. I, I'm just going to make weird stereotypes about different fandoms now. Yeah. People who like still care about Digimon, those are all people who for, have library books that they haven't returned yet. Sure. Years overdue. They actually okay, rebooted see, that trading card game too. Incest is like that's too you're going too high too fast. Oh, sorry, we got a <laughs> slow roll. <laughs> <to build. laughs> Calm down, Icarus. My bad, my bad. People who main Kirby and Super Smash Brothers have sexual relations with cereal boxes. They, they don't put the tube back on their toothpaste. They just leave the cap off. Fucking criminals. We just ship them off to Australia. Dude, my kids are fucking savages. They pick up the toothpaste and they just squeeze the tube in the middle. Yeah. <laughs> and there's just toothpaste everywhere. I just walk in there like thinking to myself, what the fuck happened in here? Like, honestly, what happened? Dude... I opened my container of toothpaste the other day, and it was one of those situations where the cap is just like stuck completely onto it because of all of the. Yeah, residue. yeah, yeah. It me and off. I was like, I know I didn't leave it like this. Yeah. So. I get a lot of flack. I want to ask you all's thoughts and opinions and concerns and questions on the fact that I use cinnamon toothpaste. Is that shocking to anyone? It's okay. That's an acceptable. Okay, that's an acceptable Thank toothpaste you. flavor. All right, that's what I think it was. John came over and he was like, "Who the fuck uses cinnamon toothpaste?" Okay, so like, let's. But great. sidebar, let's. We need to address some for the listeners and the viewers. John's a fucking idiot. Okay, he thinks <laughs> the walnuts taste like cleanser. There was a new one you missed at the Super Bowl party. <laughs> Mangoes are effervescent like soda. This is Sprite. Katie gets this these. Uh, Katie gets these um, really good. I think it's actually a New York company. You might know the brand. I'll, I'll have to tell you after this because I don't remember it. But these really fancy chocolates. Don that, Vito's. They just send them to her every once in a while. And they're like, um, it's just like, a, what, it's not fudge, but. Um, Ganache? 
like a truffle. Is that the right word? I think it's sure, like yeah. chocolate truffles and they're just completely coated in uh, cocoa powder. And okay. Yeah. We got them out for the Super Bowl party and was just letting everybody have them. And um, John ate one and he was like, tastes like a Tootsie Roll. And I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it tastes like brown. Sure. If that, that the only relationship there is that, you know, chocolate, but a Tootsie Roll is like the worst comparison you could make. I mean, they're like really high end chocolate truffles just coated in cocoa powder. Fuck it. Yeah. Like, tastes like a Tootsie Roll. John plays Magic the Gathering Dota and he squeezes the middle of his toothpaste tube. Fuck John. <laughs> we have to directly link this episode to him and tell him to watch the end of it. Squeeze, like, that's going to be my new go to insult is squeezes the middle of the toothpaste tube. <laughs> One of my other, one of my favorite ones that I've been, that I really like, that I, my favorite insult that I've been, like, I've been using it so much it's going to get really old really quickly. It's like, dog shit had a bad week last week because it stepped in you. Like, like you're so shitty that... <laughs> Worse that, than dog shit. Yeah. Or like, you're the, you're the dirt on the bottom of the gum on the bottom of dog shit's shoe. You know, you're, you're nothing. You mean nothing. And then I also like to walk. bring up a... People's race and, es- race and ethnicity, those are really good, too. Um, <laughs> <you're> back. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Jesus Christ. So, so much editing. Why are you making this so much work for yourself? Because. Hey, did you see that we are now eligible for video episodes on Spotify? <laughs> yeah, I did see that. What? Are you going to put us on video Spotify, Frank? I didn't know. We but, already have. What are you talking about? Yeah. Uh, Andrew and I saw the email. Apparently, you didn't. I don't use Spotify, motherfucker, because Neil. Neither do I. What does that have to do with it? Because Joe Rogan's on there. <laughs> well, we got the email from Anchor. He's our lead in. Yeah, well, you didn't know we have a guest spot next week? Yeah, so we. Yeah, I guess Anchor has a. You know, uh, it doesn't matter. We don't need to talk about it. I didn't, I didn't read the email. I just saw that we got it. Yeah. And for the listeners out there, if the video version of our podcast isn't on Spotify, uh, you can email all your complaints to Frank directly. Because it's lick my nut hole, motherfuckers. Just, just put yeah, just put at Frank into the email thing. They'll figure it out. Yep. Do we have a public email? I think uh, I think our gravy wheels email is public, right? No, actually, all of this they can all, they can message us on uh, Patreon. All of our spam Twitter, emails, whatever, go directly to Hillary's inbox. They're deleted. Can they? Hillary Swank. Can, there was a, you send, there was a you mix up. Send, you can't send messages on Patreon if you're not a patron, I'm guessing. I don't even know I how to log in. Is there a Patreon. paywall there? <laughs> we even still have I think, Patreon. yeah, I, th- I don't think that you can harass people that you're not paying. Well, it doesn't have to be harassment. I like how uh, Instagram does it. They've got, you get like message requests. So anybody can DM you or PM you or whatever the fuck you call it on that app. And you, you can read it. And then choose whether or not you want to allow that person to like actually talk. Would you guys like to see some of my Instagram messages? Not really. Oh, they're fun. Not not all. (laughs) Hi, handsome. How are you? I bet you have a big cock. Bots. I don't get bot messages on Instagram. I get Uh um. I get emails and Instagram DMs and shit like on a fucking weekly basis for people that want to pay me like $700 per post on my Facebook. They're like, we want to post our ads on your, on your Facebook account. And all you got to do is sign here and you'll earn $8,000 a week. And I'm like, why don't you do it? You don't bitch. Because it's the same fucking message from 90 different accounts on a weekly basis. It seems a little sus to me. Oh, Oh, there's this uh, there's this one account that's okay, has one point eight thousand followers, only has fifty two posts, but I found another one of their social media accounts, and it's a real person, and I think that the she might be in an arranged marriage with somebody in Los Angeles, and I think she's trying to get out of it. Why'd you do this much research? I have nothing else to do besides drink alcohol and do drugs. So and work and work allegedly. and work at your job, which is fucking horrible. I kill myself because of that place. So now we have to put the suicide hotline. Oh Jesus Christ! Don't we fucking don't. 
If you're having suicidal thoughts, please call 867-5309. <laughs> I thought, I thought you were actually going to have the off. number memorized there for a second. I don't know. I don't have. I don't know the number. That would have been really fucking Look, impressive. Call Jenny for a good time because it is a good time. I just noticed that we can see the IR sensor in your VR thing in the background. Yeah, like you can see the light in there. Actually, that's cool. No, that's not. Is that cool. a reflection or is that the light? No, at the very top of it, very very top. There is a green light. There's a green dot. You see the tiny little green dot? That's the yeah, IR that's sensor. Really that is a reflection from the outside world where I'm not going out to today because it's very windy. Yeah, we're getting that. We're getting that. Snowpocalypse round two. So we may or may not see you guys next week. The oh, well, day, it'll, be, it'll be figured out by next week. Maybe. Not if yeah, Biden's still we'll president. Be, we'll be Shut up. Uh, <laughs> thank time. you, Javelin, for letting us... <laughs> <laughs> for letting us up till now use your song so to Pipinski is a little theme we appreciate that uh, we were just kidding about all that stuff <laughs> about everything we just about, said. <laughs> about the last n- everything. 60 minutes of words you've heard um, thanks Tyler Edwards for the art yeah appreciate Tyler it. I just bought art from him like yesterday oh you did yeah I'll show you guys it's cool oh, cool, cool I don't want to be here anymore <laughs> how who wants to end this? Um, all I can say is if you made it this long, thank you. And uh, just go ahead and watch it again because we're trying to get that watch time up. Watch our Let's Plays, please. Yeah, watch our Let's Plays. Watch yeah, Frank and, Cook. And, and here's the thing, like, honestly, uh, watching them is cool and all, but if you want to be real fucking cool, those comments really do mean a lot. I love seeing the comments and, you know, like evidence that people actually watched it and enjoyed it or hated it. Let us know if you hate it. Whatever. Either way, like it makes yeah. me, it makes it's really fun to reply to those. So if you want to say something complimentary, that's really cool. I'll probably reply to that. If you want to say something negative, I'll probably destroy you on the internet for everyone to see. Yeah. Fuck you. Also, uh, don't forget to give us recommendations for future LPs. Oh yeah, totally. I still got to, there's one more Ninja Turtles game I need to procure for the Game Boy, but uh, we'll see about that. Um, what's the word this week, friends? Fuck clowns. <laughs> Got me shit. <laughs>